you very much. Ms. Scanlon. Thank you. Um, first, I would like to associate myself with the chairman's remarks uh, condemning the attempted assault on Speaker Pelosi and the actual assault on her husband. Um, with respect to the bill we're talking about, the Speak Out Act, uh, like Mr. Cicilline and, and Mr. Raskin, I participated in the judiciary hearings. And I was hoping you could just speak for a moment about um, why it's so important that we not silence um, survivors of this kind of harassment. Um, what does compelling disclosure do for the situation? Well, obviously, for the survivors of sexual assault and sexual violence, part of the um, process of, of holding your perpetrator accountable is to share that information publicly, to call them out and make uh, those horrific actions uh, public knowledge. It's also a very important way, way to warn uh, future potential uh, victims of, of sexual assault or sexual violence who may work in the same workplace, who may have contact with the same individual. So, you know, we have a very important priority here, ensuring that people who are, uh, you know, survivors of this kind of despicable practice I mean, think about it. You're the vict you're a survivor of sexual assault and sexual violence. You've already gone through an unspeakable event, and you're prevented from sharing with anyone, um, which is sometimes the best way to prevent it from reoccurring, either against you or another person. So there, there are both in terms of the individual, it's important for accountability and for, to process uh, and to hold that person accountable, but it's also important to prevent future harm to other individuals as well. And I think we heard some evidence concerning the fact that the act of sharing it um, basically destigmatizes what has happened to the folks who are already survivors and encourages other people who may have had the same um, conduct to come yeah, there, forward. There's an enormous amount of research that shows that very often the failure to disclose a sexual assault or sexual violence is a result of people feeling responsible in some way, which of course is not the case, and removing that stigma so that people are free to speak candidly and openly about what their experience was and how uh, they have survived that experience is really critical. Well, I'm, I'm looking forward to passing the Speak Out Act as we pass the prior act uh, regarding uh, forced arbitration. Uh, that'll mean that this Congress will have passed two bills to address the destructive and unfair legal tactics that corporations and businesses have used to silence survivors of sexual assault and harassment and to cover up bad and sometimes criminal behavior. Um, it's heartening to see that Congress has been able to come together on these uh, reforms, uh, as mentioned by a couple of our members so far, uh, this passed the Senate unanimously. I see no reason that it shouldn't pass the House unanimously as well. It's a major step forward um, for survivors in the workplace, and I look forward to sending the bill to President Biden's desk. Thank you.